We're just going to jump straight back in where we left off last time. So we're going to talk to Professor Ronan. See what ah, he's got to say. You, you have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do. And an exceedingly useful one at that. The mending charm, Repero. Fixes things right up. Makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Ropero in no time. Why must I first complete tasks to learn Repero? No lesson or lecture can compare to first-hand experience, and these tasks should provide you with just that. Such experience is invaluable when mastering any new bit of magic. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. Oh, he's one of them, um... Revelio. Field guide, that's the one. Wyvern Fountain. Nice. This is the right area. I wonder where the flying page is. Keep hitting it. Oh, makes sense. <laughs> A flying page must be around here somewhere. Are you all right? Don't you know who I am? Zenobia Noak. The girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. Everyone hates you? Why? Because Hogwarts is full of bullies and spoil sports. Leander Pruitt's one of the worst, that no-talent moon mind. I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like marbles. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul-smelling liquid. Gobstones? Sounds like a fun challenge. That's what I tried to tell everyone. <sighs> People can be so cruel. Just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, it's their own fault for losing. Imelda is one of the worst losers. Everett and Astoria are terrible as well. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. Rather an overreaction on their part. I'll say. Anyway, I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone, perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year to help me. Do you have any suggestions on how to get your gobstones down from their hiding spots? If I knew that, I'd get them myself. Whoever hid my gobstones that high got up there somehow. Haven't you any friends at school? Not really. Natty said hello once, but not a word since. I'll see what I can That's do. That's actually quite sad. I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. Right. That's either a side quest or whatever, but we've got the page anyway. Yeah, I've got to find six gobstones. And then I need to put that other quest back on. Um.
Oh, we've got some legendary gloves. We'll get a cape. Sorry, everyone. I'm still just figuring out how to get around the... the menu and stuff. Right. One victory. Oh yeah, hang on. Collections, challenges, quests. Oh, this is what I was looking for. Right, that's the one. I want to go back to him. So that should be through these doors, yeah. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. Square. X. X. Nice. Repair all. Can be used to mend broken objects and pieces of the environment. Ah, oh, nice. So I can do bridges and stuff. That's it. Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too... Prepare accurate. Nice. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. What is... Ah. Uh. Well, that's one of Zenobia's gobstones. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. Right, do you know what? Let's go and find these stones if we can. Um. Right, what I'll do is I'll... Page. Nice. How nice to see you, my young friend. What's wrong, Nicholson? I'm afraid of a spare head. There's that guy again. Right, there's another page. Oh, there it is. Nice. There's still one more. No, there isn't. There's two more. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Oh, there it is. Accurate. Right, what is up here? Under Professor Block's direction, it is my honor as deputy headmistress of the position of Oh, 
that was that person's um, mum or whoever she said it was. Oh, there she is. Is there any point of being up here or oh, there's a chest? Doesn't look like it. I've probably missed some up, but never mind. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. What's this? Oh god, some sort of puzzle. One, zero. So I'm, gu I'm guessing it, you need a th three? Can I have a look at that thing I just picked up? Nope, that's not it. That's it. A three is that three headed snake dragon thing. Nine, so that's a three, two, five. I need a four. What's a four? I have no idea if I'm doing this right at all. What is a four? That bird thing. Oh, nice. A Christmas tree. Oh my god, there's more. Oh, um. Thirteen, that was a four, so I need a one. Is that right? Which is a unicorn. And then 15, what is this, what is that, what are those two added together? It was that and that, that's 11. 11, what was it again? Eight, 15, so I need a four, which was, what was the four again? Is that the four? Oops, I'll just change that. Nope, I didn't get it right that time. Let me just double check that again. Yeah, that is the four. I wonder if it's the other way around. I don't think it is, because I don't think there's a unicorn on this side, is there? Is that not right? Four? Lizard and that thing. So that and that is 11. Then you should need that to make 15. But that doesn't seem to be right. And then that... That owl... Oh, is that a zero? Oh, that's a zero, so that's a 13. I need a five. Which one was the five again? That. Right, hopefully this is right this time. There we go. 
Got there in the end. Another one. Right, is that that was is that top one a five? And that's a six, that's eleven, so I need a six. Which is the lizard thing. Then zero what is that? Seven, so I need a one, need a unicorn. No, I'm getting the hang of this now. All right, let's go. That's I enough maths for today. High places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Levioso, Akio, Reparo, Lumos. Well, I can't do anything to that. I don't really know. Maybe I don't have the spell or something yet. Let's go back down. happened there right I think I missed a page up there or something but never mind we'll get it eventually um tell you what we'll do We will go. That's the wrong thing. Quests. Let's go try and find this guy, Lucian, Lucan, Battleby, Battleby, whatever he's called. Well, there's a page. Nice. We're exploring a bit more. The game does look really nice. I will give it that. I saw a lot of people saying before it came out that it, the graphics didn't look very good, but I'm struggling to see where people were saying that, to be honest. It looks very impressive so far. And that looks stunning to be fair. Oh, another um Revelio. The haunted toilets. Oh, not again. We can't it's unlock anything yet. Bowl, where she said I could swim, did you practice a mole? As long as we're only one time per week, I can plunge the boy's lavatory. Not for the meek. Please, Peas, you'll make me late. He tried to stop me, did rancorous carp, sought to trap me, confine me inside of a jar. But he failed, as did his containment charms, so I took my revenge to wreak havoc and harm. It was granted my privileges. All right, that's enough of that. Or I'd fire up the cannon, and so she agreed. To It looks like I can interact with that, but I don't really know what to what I'm meant to do. What? <laughs> what?
Oh, you are too kind. We thank you. Oh, another um. Rebellion. Field guide page. Seems like there's an awful lot to do in this game, which is a good thing. I like I like a game that that you can spend a lot of time on. Does not bother me one bit. I love to try and do everything, collect everything there is, and and everything like that. Right, let's keep going. Glad you can make it. Lucan's just over there. <laughs> Not really sure what I'm supposed to do with these statues at the moment. Can I help you? Sebastian told me to see you about a club. If Sebastian vouches for you, that's all I need to know. I coordinated duels for crossed ones. A dueling club of sorts. It's invitation only, so you must have really impressed Sebastian. I'm flattered to hear that. Sebastian's not a bad duelist either. Imagine it's quite something to see the two of you duel. How does Cross Wands work exactly? You show up, I match you with other duelists, and whoever is still standing in the end wins. It's our way of determining the school's greatest duelist once and for all. And to liven things up, the winner is awarded a prize. Interested? Yeah, why of not? Course. Dueling's an entertaining pastime. I agree. Besides, in Cross Wands, you could duel with a partner if you like. Your first time I'll pair you with Sebastian. Next time, you'll need to bring a partner along or duel alone. So, care to step into the ring? Let's go. Get me in the ring. Spectacular! Let the fireworks begin! We'll make you regret signing up. Break through yellow shields with control spells like the levitation spell Levioso. Target lock R3 lets you track enemies without aiming and use the right stick. Yep, got it. Oh, I didn't block there. Nope. <laughs> Wrong spell. A light isn't going to help. happened to me nice work Sebastian wasn't wrong about you there's strong competition ahead but keep this up and you could be the next school champion brilliant count me in I shall now it takes time to organize these duels but check with me later I may have something lined up for you again congratulations on your first crossed ones victory well fought thanks hope to see you back here again Right, I've got a fast travel point to come back here now at any time, which is good. Next time you need a partner for Cross Swans, don't hesitate to call on me. That's locked. Can't get out there. And that's locked, right. I think we'll go and do that main quest then. I'll find those gobstones just as I play. I reckon. Right, let's see if we can um, Off on another adventure. fast travel quickly to get to here. So, if we go... I will get the hang of this. If we go here... Nope, I don't have any green, so I can't go there. I do have these ones, though. So, if I go... I've got Central Hall. Oh, travel. I'll put a waypoint on it instead of fast travelling. I will get the hang of it. 
Nice. And now it's just outside. I like to keep a bit There's something in there. I just know. Hello. I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello. I'm Lenora. Pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment. Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. Have you gained any insights about the painting since you've been studying it? I did discover that casting Lumos has an effect of some kind. But I'm not sure what to do next. Are there any other empty paintings like this around the school? Yes, a few. This entire place is somewhat of a riddle, to be honest. If I can work out the riddle of this one, I'll know what to do with all of them. As good a place as any to begin. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. <sighs> I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Do come and find me if you stumble on something illuminating. So if you lo to... use Lumos. Lumos. That spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. Oh, I see. Oh god, I need to hit someone there. Um I don't think I know where oh wait. Well, show me where it is. So this looks like it. the location from the painting. What could be so special about it? Rebellion. Something to do with that butterfly thing. Lumos. Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. Oh, moth. I said butterfly. Was a connection. I should tell Lenora that I solved the puzzle of that oh. empty frame. I've been collecting cheese There's another little collectible to keep doing. Lenora, I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? <laughs> well, I'm I not found telling. the location depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. A pity I was so close to solving it. You have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that too. So is Meat, although he does tend to over-explain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. The moth! I should have seen that! Like a moth to a frame. And we got a little level up as well. Right, let's finally go and do this main this main quest. There we go. Hello. Was oh, that a fast travel? Natty, I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsbeat. You must be eager to have your own things again. And to see the village. I've been looking forward to it. Good. Shall we set off? I intend to give you a first-rate Hogsmeade experience. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to accompany you. Really? Yes, you I had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. I thought you might enjoy a butterbee in the village. <laughs> the timing of Professor Weasley's owl was perfect. Oh, I cannot tell you how nice it is to breathe fresh air after being cooped up in ancient rooms. Grave mistake to take it as an elective class, believe me. 
<laughs> I believe you. Though I suppose you would not really call it elective, when your mother was the one who elected that you take it. God, that does look amazing. There's the Quidditch pitch over there. Hogsmeade is beautiful this time of year. Everyone will tell you to visit at Christmas. But that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. <laughs> not much for the cold, are you? Oh, I do not mind the cold so much. But it has taken some getting used to. I did not grow up around snow. Oh, wait, over here. I often spot lacewing flies in this area. Oh? What's so special about them? They are interesting to look at. But if you see them, you can also use them in potion making. <laughs> right. We got some of them anyway. Look! From the Forbidden Forest! Hippogriffs! I wonder if something startled them. I heard rumors that hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. Do you think Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs? Absolutely. Likely already named them too. France Hoof and Sugarfoot. God, the game looks massive. That's the forbidden forest on the left. It's off limits to students, as the name implies. Why is it off limits? The professors claim it is too dangerous. I think that calling it forbidden only makes it more alluring. Ah, there's Hogsmeade over the crest, past that ruin. I would spend all of my time exploring if I could. I confess, I was surprised when Professor Weasley mentioned that you knew the area, since you're relatively new here. She said that? Hmm. She knows more about me than I had thought. I will say, while I certainly learn a great deal in class, much can be gleaned outside of the castle walls. Definitely going to be good exploring all of this. How are you settling in? I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange. Everything was so new and unfamiliar. I'm getting used to things. What about you? Do you find you feel settled? I still miss my homeland, but it is beautiful here too. And getting out of the castle and exploring helped me to adjust quite a bit. Hogwarts has become something of a home now, I would say. Hopefully it will for you too. Mr. Moon! He is the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello, Mr. Moon. Huh? Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Um, you might want to turn back, Miss On I. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did Mr. Moon? Jimmy, guys, Dudley and Arian. Mm, terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Poor Mr. Moon. <laughs> a Debbie, guys. I think he had too much fun in the village. I will say that I have never seen him. <laughs> Nearly there. There is much to see outside of the castle walls, not just Hogsmeade. I am happy to explore whenever you'd like. Rumors being what they are about goblins and such, it might be nice to have a friend with you. I'll keep that in mind, Natty. Thank you. So I just got done finishing Skyrim, the tenth anniversary after I, um, before I'd played this. So it's a bit of a change in, uh, change in gear for the, the type of game that I'm playing now. And here we are. It is hard to know where to start. The Three Broomsticks is the place for butter beer. And you can get any sweet you can imagine at Honey Dukes. I could not choose a favorite shop here. It changes with every visit. 
I can tell you that you are certain to find everything you need in Hogsmeade. Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes, spellcraft, some seeds, and... A new wand. Of course. You will enjoy Mr. Ollivander, and I am keen to see what you will do with a wand of your own. You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well. Experience Hogsmeade at your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. Enjoy yourself. I will see you soon. Hogsmeade Village is brimming with different side shops and other points of interest that you can navigate using your field guide map. Oh god, yeah. So there's five collection chests, 55 field guide pages, nine demiguise statues just in this Hogsmeade. It looks like a locked door. Yeah. Wondering when I can start going into them because I'm eager to get them doors open. I hate not being able to get in places. Visit all of them places lifted down the left. An inquiring mind. Take all the gold I can get, to be honest. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson, then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest. Creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Right. Potting table with a small pot spellcraft. That's free, so I love that. Um, small portion station spellcraft, yeah. If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. Yeah, and we don't have anywhere near enough money to get anything else off them. I can sell stuff that I've got, but I better not do that yet because I don't really know if that's a good or a bad thing. Right. Locked. What was that? Level il Oh, level two. I thought it said level eleven. Level two. Level two. God. Couldn't resist.
I'm guessing this isn't one of the places I'm supposed to be in. Snelling's Tress Emporium. <laughs> I'm sure I've no need to introduce myself. They used to call me Snelly. Oh, Snelly, why aren't you studying to be an aura? But I showed them. They're stuck in the dust at the ministry, and I'm here thriving. <laughs> Absolutely thriving. But look at you. Look at you. I can certainly see why you paid me a visit. Looking for a change, are we? Why not, I say? What sort of change? Some are going for that muggle with consumption sort of death becomes me allure. But you won't find poisons here. No need for chloride of lime or ammonia when you have magic. Why don't you spend a moment choosing how you'd like to look? You can change your hair too if you'd like. Well, so you change your offer? appearance and stuff. It's good to know anyway. What is it you might be interested in? I'm not bothered like, I'll just stay as I am. Lock. Shock. Pretty big this place like. Um, fast travel point, nice. Take as many of them as we can get. Oh, page. Nice. Lock. Locked. <laughs> God. Oh, another page. Where's that gone? Let me see if I can find any of these places. Ollivanders, and I've got to go to that one. That's where I get me wand, isn't it? Probably run past it, to be fair. I'm looking for... For a new wand, yes. It's about time. Yes, uh, about time. Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect wand, shall we? Hmm, uh... No, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes, yes. Hmm. Powerful core, ten and a half inches. Hmm. You might do. Here, give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm, how odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um, we'll find you something, not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, 
Perhaps, yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Oh, 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 oh goodness. Oh, looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh. This is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. Oh, we can um, change it a little How bit. How intriguing! Um, no, we'll keep it that. Uh, Curious indeed. Let's keep it at that. How intriguing! Glorious <laughs> like me. How intriguing. That'll do. What do you think? Another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> ah. Now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. Indeed. Treat it well. And you shall find no more dependable a wand than one with a unicorn hair core. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Right. Couple more places to go. Magic Neep and Pippin's Portions. There's Pippin's Portions. So we'll go there. Welcome to J. Pippin's Potions. Revelio. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. A potion's really that versatile. They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. 
I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? What can I do for you today? Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory, or come back another time if you're in a rush today. Right, we've got one more place to go. But I'm running out of time, so I'm going to leave it here for this one, guys. So, once again, thank you all so much for watching. Um, if you could drop me a like and follow the channel, that would be amazing. Um, and I'll see you again on the next one. Take care, everyone.